Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shadowcat as the channel name suggests. And today we're continuing with our community watch through. Hello. Okay, as you guys can probably tell with the fact that I'm wearing the exact same clothes that I was wearing in the ver first video, um, I'm just going right into episodes three and four because I just want to continue watching this show. It's just one of those shows that I feel lends itself really well to binging because I just kind of want to keep consuming more and more and more. And it definitely helps that the episodes are only about 20 minutes long. I'm definitely really enjoying it so far. I'm actually quite surprised that I found the first episodes to be as good as they were and I, I, I say this quite often and I really want to caveat that with saying that it's not that I thought that they were going to be bad I just know that sometimes it takes shows um, a little while to find their footing and I feel like this show from the jump just really kind of knew what they wanted to be and I think that that's kind of rare in television I feel like a lot of the times it takes a little bit to really get into it so it's really great when you start a show that's just good from the beginning because it really motivates you to continue watching like there is no part of you that has to like force yourself no part of you that has to tell yourself that like okay like it might not be the best right now but it'll get better I also think that in general it takes me um probably a few episodes to get into a show but for this one, it's just really light and breezy and fun and easy to watch that I think that I've been on board since the beginning, which is really great. So without further ado, let's get into the episode. I heard this class was a cakewalk. Are you passing it? Do you like Dan Cook? Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Dan! <laughs> ah, Dan Cook. That was a time. Seize the day! No tests, no papers! You want an A? <laughs> Live in the moment. Okay. Everyone, take your shoes off. Throw them away. Throw them across the room over there. Today, we learn to walk. <laughs> get up and walk out the door. Yeah. This day could be what your last. This? You could die in your sleep. You could get hit <laughs> by a bus. You, that mole is raised and dark. It's not a good combo. You... <laughs> Voice command. Voice command. Voice command. <laughs> Voice command. <clears throat> Voice command. Would you please use the buttons? Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> the deadline to enroll is tomorrow. I suggest you all do it. Well, some of us are here to actually learn things. I'm in. Me too. It sounds educational. How? Huh? Does she have a crush on him? My dad will only pay for classes that will help me run the family restaurant. I'm interested in making movies, but my dad says all media is Western propaganda that negatively stereotypes Arabs. And he should see Aladdin. Jafar was a badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Abed, how much does a film class cost? $70. Isn't Abed's dad a hardcore Muslim? They're not as understanding as Christians. You can get your hair cut off with a salami sword. Surely. Oh God. It's Surely. the most racist thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Pierce will be. <laughs> Are we going to study Spanish or keep getting involved in each other's personal lives? Okay, you're the one who's trying to get involved in Britta's personal life. That is the entire reason why this whole group exists, Jeff. You're not my mother. She's not? 29 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name is Shirley Bennett. Shirley, you get an A. Oh. <laughs> if you can tell me why you were here at Greendale. What did I tell you? It's gonna backfire on them 100%. Why are you here? <laughs> because I wasted 15 years of my life on a man who left me with nothing but stretch marks and a foggy memory of two bland orgasms, and now it's time to get what's mine. Aww. Day seized. <laughs> Everyone, stand on your desks. Up, 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 come on. Rise, rise, rise above the programming. Uh. I feel like somebody's either gonna fall or like a table to break. She's <sighs> okay. Go yeah. to the nurse. Seize the day. <laughs> Particularly the part about uh, your husband not being. Your homework. Ah. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, I just, oh maybe I'm not. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> But every year, there's always one cocky opportunist who's just here to coast, grab an easy A. Oh, yeah. You ride home. His name's Pierce. You have no intention of seizing the day. What? Listen, I, I have never lived <laughs> until I met you. I, I love you. He is so transparent. I'm like, how is he even a good lawyer? I mean, he does talk really well. He does. But he's so, like schmoozy in a very uncomfortable way. Hey, how's it going? How's your film class, buddy? It's cool. Our first assignment is a documentary. They're like real movies, but with ugly people. I'm learning a lot. It's <laughs> so wonderful. Some people don't like getting involved in others' lives. I think it's great. How did he react to you signing up for the film class? The part hasn't happened yet. Here he comes. Hey! Uh, you want to get involved in my family's business? Holy uh, war. I'm a woman with rights, and you can see my whole face. Oh, I get it, because I'm Arab, I must hate women. Let me tell you something, I love women. Yeah, but I'm getting a, a major a... B-word vibe from you. Wow, I can't believe I missed out on getting involved in this. You go host American Idol, and you stop messing with my son. He's a special boy. Dreams are for sleeping. You don't know that. It's clinically proven. Stop polio. You lost me. Abed wants to study film. You have a right to your faith and your family's <laughs> privacy, but Abed is an adult and a U.S. citizen. Right? Yeah. And he... <laughs> Jeff, I think you should play the role of my father. I don't want to be your father. That's perfect. You already know your lines. <laughs> Aww. Abed. Professor Whitman comes by here every morning, and I need him to that see me high. celebrating life. Is something else. Love you. Shirley, thank you. But that doesn't happen to you a lot. Happened yesterday. Shirley's just doing her homework. Hillary, mm -hmm. thank you for getting people coffee. I love you. Oh, yeah, she has to tell 10 people she loves them. <laughs> She's taking the assignment super seriously. Ah, I really like Shirley. Hi, I would like a latte and Jeff, oh. let me get you something. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, come on, I got you. Okay, I will get a small black coffee. Boo! An ordinary coffee for an ordinary life. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Winger. These won't cut it. <laughs> Shot spot! I shall have. <laughs> Aww, I mean, I find the sneezes adorable. Not in like a make fun of kind of way, but in a like a. Oh. I think I, I think the Cubs are gonna win all this year. <laughs> what do you think? Tell me more. <laughs> I don't think I can double dutch. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bring it in here. As soon as the second rope was introduced, I was f***ing screwed. I could do one rope, but. And considering the age of these girls, unwittingly creepy. Damn it! <laughs> Beat it. Had I not already cried at the sunrise this morning, I would be <laughs> weeping right now. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean, Jeff? How long does it take you in the morning to, to make it look like you have bedhead? How many sweatpants, <laughs> sport jacket combos did you try before you found the one that said, I don't care? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I really need to talk to you about Abed. I went by his film class today. He wasn't there. He's cutting. I want to know why he would do something like that. What in the hell? Is he going to kill us? <laughs> Someone order seven lattes. I got that. No, you don't got it. I got it, Abed. I got everything. That is, uh... Yeah, is that the guy what do you from think, Dad? Breaking Bad? I think you Bad? are really weird, Abba. Also, the voice of a character in the Final Fantasy VII remake, Biggs? Because it's time to communicate. Communicate? Have you met Abed? It's not the two of you that need to talk. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Weezer? They're coming. <laughs> Is 
is that Britta is sorry, right? Wrong. Crap. Ovid may not be a great <laughs> filmmaker, but that doesn't mean that he wants to make falafel juice. You're stop I'm finished. It. Oh my god, I am so excited to see what he puts Britta, together. Britta, Jeff, dead. Wait, what could this possibly be? Racism does not compute. How's it going, buddy? I don't want to be your father. <laughs> He's not normal. What is Aww. wrong with you? All I want to do is take care of you. This is actually, like, sad. I think you are weird, Abed. And I think the wrong person just left. <laughs> Quite the tonal shift, I must say. But that was actually sad. I mean, yeah, it would probably bring me to tears too if I was his dad. I feel like an asshole. My son is hard to understand. If making movies help him be understood, then I pay for the class. Aww, what a nice little resolution. <laughs> With falafel as a fallback. <laughs> Did you do all of that to me on purpose? That's not a very nice way to treat your friends. Well, Britta, it isn't called friend business. It's called show business. <laughs> He's smoking. Honey, let him leave the nest. It's a bit intimate. Get your hand off of my knee. <laughs> oh my god. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Someone who doesn't like getting involved. Well, um, you should kiss me right now. An interesting development. I assume they're going to get together. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> okay. Plus, I know a life changing kiss when I see one. I didn't think that they were going to like cross those thresholds yet. Interesting, interesting, interesting. He's just climbing a tree. <laughs> uh... Alright, guys. Am I crumping now? No. <laughs> Is he show him? He's crumping. <laughs> Looks like his dancing in This Is America, kinda. <laughs> we're, we're crumping. No, you're not. <laughs> that song. All right, so we just finished episode three of season one. I thought that that was a really cute episode. I thought that it was quite sad because we delved more into Abid's uh, family dynamics and the ways that people treat him. In the first episode, Jeff says that Abid has Asperger's. I don't think that Abid knew that i don't know if it's like a confirmed thing that he has asperger's but but it's really sad in the sense that i think that a lot of neurodivergent people could probably relate to him and relate to the way that people treat him um yeah yeah it was comedic it was really funny but it was also like it made me feel a little bit sad but yeah, no, overall it was a very cute episode. And I thought that it was a nice resolution with his dad there at the end. And they really did have like an actual heartwarming moment. Um, I don't know if I've felt that in this show so far. I feel like they wanted me to feel it in episode two with Pierce. But I was just like, okay, but Pierce is f***ing weird. And look, we're all a little bit weird, okay? We all got our quirks, but Pierce just makes people uncomfortable. He is saying things that are inappropriate all the time, so I didn't feel it so much with him because I kind of understood Jeff's annoyance with him in episode two because I would be annoyed as well. I do think that it was a nice resolution in, in episode two as well with Jeff 
um, doing the presentation with him, but I definitely think that this episode hit harder on the emotional beats because uh, I care about Abed more as a character than I care about Pierce. So that's probably that's probably the main difference, to be honest with you. But anyways, I want to just jump into the next one. So let's do that. I found your feedback to be largely constructive and flat. Why? <laughs> Donato, you don't have to sign your name anymore. Got it. Um, but sorry, there's Korean on the board. I'm like, why is there Korean on the board in the Spanish class? And this particular coward dots her eyes with tiny little circles. <laughs> I feel like the casting for this. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's deeply uncomfortable. What I was trying to say is, uh, before I got rudely interrupted by that face touch, the casting in the show is really good. Hey, Britta, hi. What's up? Hey, Vaughn, how's it going? No worries. Interesting, because <laughs> I might be worried if I was playing hacky sack a decade too late. Ah! <laughs> oh, we didn't get the full theme song. Annie Edison, I'm Hello. in your 101 lecture. Hello. I've heard about your special psych lab. Jimmy Oliver has some great dimples. Very cute dimples. Mm. I'm only here because of a brief addiction to pills that I was told would help <laughs> right. me focus, but they actually made me lose my scholarship and virginity. Aww. Right. That's tragic. I'm not allowed to date students. Oh. Even though I you're an eight. Oh. Which is a British ten. Oh. <laughs> I'm angry. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to bring two human subjects, and it would not hurt your chances one bit if you could lend me a fiver. I seem to have left my purse in my duffel and my duffel in the boot of my lorry, so... You brought your mail to campus. Oh, yes, my ear inoculars. What is that? Ear inoculars? It looks like your Bluetooth thing. No, 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 this is my soul headset, and this... It's for spies and whatnot. Gives you sonic hearing. All hearing is sonic. Um, What's that? So? <laughs> do they do stuff to your butt? No. Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? No. <laughs> That's fine. I'll Are you it. offering for them to do stuff to your butt? I figured we were more like Chandler and Phoebe. They never really had stories together. It's true. Sure, I'll do it, Chandler. Oh, thank you, Abed. <laughs> Hey, you're not gonna order coffee. Oh, uh, no, I was just gonna see if Britta... I mean, no judgment, bro. I used to do coffee. I like green tea. <laughs> I should make the change. Up top, sugar bear. <laughs> yeah, give me some of that. Yeah, it is. Small coffee, please. If you turn your attention to the monitor, you will see that our subjects are waiting for the experiment to begin. But it's actually happening right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go and tell our subjects that we're gonna be starting the experiment in five minutes, okay? It's never actually going to start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was impressive. <laughs> we'll probably start in about five minutes. No! No! no I keep wanting no, to call no, her Trudy. No, 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 no. When you say something starts at nine, it starts at Nueve! <laughs> <laughs> the same way after class. I'm sure you didn't or else we would have been walking together. Unless you're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> so Pierce isn't exactly right in the head, is he? I know a lot of grown men with radar dishes coming out of their ears. And how about that guy that's always around flirting with Britta? I know, he's the worst. Look at them! Such a natural rapport. We've got... A shouter, that one's a stomper. Bye, hippie. There's a generic whack job, bouncing up and down like a six-foot child. <laughs> and then there were two. Break. Break. Looks like he's bad, too. <laughs> <laughs> what is taking so long? I wasted all day 
<laughs> For you, the Soul Train Awards were tonight. You promised <laughs> much to. Uh, uh, I feel like <laughs> acting on this show. And he's out. So we got fun. him. <laughs> Strike three. You're gone. Like I feel like the cast must be just like having a really really fun time. I don't see why you and Britta aren't together. Two cute white people going to school together just seems right. Surely, <laughs> we're not pandas in a zoo. And there goes the shirt. <laughs> uh... Want me to, uh, let me uh, check you for grass stains? I wasn't sure mm -hmm. how or when to bring up that I was hanging out with Vaughn. I figured that you'd make fun of him and me. And he has. Friends do not make fun of each other, even if they're okay. tackled in the quad by a hippie. Now, secondly, <laughs> that was tacky out there. You will never see that again. Oh, <laughs> no worries, bruh. I wonder if he's only gonna last the episode. Her hippie boyfriend. It kind of seems like they're not putting in any effort for us to get to know him. So I feel like he's uh, only gonna last the episode. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But tell me you noticed how small his nipples are. Not engaging. <laughs> oh, it's like gossip when it's bad. My kids have hands just with bigger nips. No. Oh, well. No. Jeff. <laughs> no. Wow. It's just him. So is this the true social experiment? Sorry you've been waiting 26 hours. It's just going to be another five minutes. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, why won't he leave? I have classes to go to. Go! Fine! <laughs> go kill John Lennon again, you loser! Aww. He's ruined my study. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Put, stop writing! Put your pen! Give me that! Get out! Get out, you dogs! <laughs> Get out! Go home! <laughs> well, um, hey, look at that. Ainge classic. Oh, that's nice. You know, people <laughs> underestimate the elderly. You know, but you see these guys out there and they're throwing the bee and they're just loving life. It's just inspiring. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna think about it. All right. I'm gonna go check on Brit. Oh my God. They literally colored in his nipples. Oh my God. The commitment to that. Is hilarious. <laughs> I'm so dramatic with my tears. You like Vaughn, right? Getting a little relationshipy, and mm. he gave me something. Herpes? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Not gonna lie. Oh, I'm getting a text. I'm just gonna read it, if you don't mind. <laughs> I am reading it, and. It is red. Is he Did you ever notice to... where the yeah. ocean meets the sky? That is the stain of a teardrop over the word rad. Oh, he said rad. I thought it said bad. That makes it worse. Oh, his supersonic hearing. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. You sat in a room <laughs> for 26 straight hours. Didn't that bother you? Yeah, I was livid. Then why didn't you leave? <laughs> because you asked me to stay and you said we were friends. Aww. We are not making fun uh, of you. Uh, calling me hacky sack and ripping my oh, he thought my that they six were talking pack about abs him. and my moist hair and that face uh, you made. Brett is gonna know that they were talking shit about uh, hacky sack or whatever. We're making fun of Britta's boyfriend Vaughn. Oh, good. Well, in that Vaughn's, case, but if we're gonna Vaughn's do something, name. let's do it as a team. I'll get the ball rolling. Maybe he has a no. tiny penis. She's Who gonna this walk in on that. to see him. Everything's all. Oh, no worries, yeah. No worries. No, no, and he no, always no, says no. hello three times in a row. <laughs> and look, he wrote a poem. Oh, <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> uh, bad timing. Bad timing. Guys, you met Vaughn, right? Hey, what's up? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What a fool's troops got a case. Oh my god. Did you give him my poem? No. Okay, well, why is the dinosaur rocking a picture of my poem? Here, read it. 
Oh, you guys are, <sighs> right, you guys are laughing at me, aren't you? Yeah. No. That's uh, <laughs> wow. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe you. Honestly, yeah. Jeff, how dare you? <laughs> To be fair, Shirley would not be able to pass that around if you did not take a picture of it. Jeff. Yeah, I can't believe I showed you that poem. Oh my God, my life is Degrassi high. Oh, Jeff, <laughs> I have a gossip. I've never actually watched Degrassi. As a Canadian from Toronto, maybe that's blasphemous? I don't know. Look at the size of that woman's earrings. It's like little dog should be jumping through them. <laughs> <laughs> this is never gonna work. Look at this them. This has to end. Mm -mm. <laughs> Shirley, don't do this. You know, we won't bag on people. Come on, Jeff, what That's are we gonna talk about? From a kid, your, your doctor career. I was a lawyer. See, I'm already <laughs> bored. <laughs> I know I shouldn't do this, but one last little piece of gossip. Britta told me she had a sex dream about you. You still have a chance. <laughs> is there a spot on the friendship spectrum between total stranger and having to hear about the guys you date? And if I'm occasionally naked in your dreams, I won't complain. Surely. I know, she's got a problem. She stirs the pot. She's a pot stirrer. <laughs> <laughs> and so I told her, oh, hi, hi Jeff. <laughs> oh, no. Pierce, Pierce, give me your ear thing. Got rid of it. Oh, I think it's time for Burning Man. Ooh, I'm Saddam Hussein. Ooh. Hey, man, coming true. I love the Desperate Housewives. <laughs> I'm Dr. Doogie Seacrest. I think I'm better than everyone else because I'm 40. I'm not 40. I can hear you through the window, Morris. <laughs> Just pretend like you sleep. Just pretend like you were sleeping. Are all of the tags going to be these two characters? Because they really do have a great dynamic. So I would not be mad at that. They're making me cry though, so you know. I'm glad that we got a more Shirley centered episode. I think she is emerging as one of my favorites among the cast so far. I don't know if I could like rank them at this point, but I'm going to try. Mm, I don't know if I can. Let me just tell you who I really am vibing with so far. And this is like, I enjoy all of these characters. I feel like all of these characters really drive well together. And I think that they all just bring something entirely new to the playing field in a way that just like harmoniously coexists in the most chaotic way if that makes any sense whatsoever coming into this i felt like donald glover more than anyone else it would be hard for me to see him um separately from you know the man donald glover childish gambino the character that he plays in atlanta and see him as this one character honestly when i'm watching this he really is troy so yeah all in all i really love the characters but let me tell you guys who i'm loving the most so far i think my top two would be abed and shirley i just really really enjoy their particular banter i think that the um the actors who play those characters really like just nail it just really nail it and i think that they're given a lot of really fun material to work with but that being said i i really i don't think that there's a weak link in this cast at least not one that has emerged thus far i have not felt like that at all at any point but yeah definitely I want to say I really love Shirley and I really love Abed. So yeah, guys, this has been fun. This has been another fun little session and I hope that you guys are enjoying watching this with me. If you are, I would appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. I would also appreciate it if you subscribe. If you wanted to watch more of these episodes with me, like that would be really cool. I wouldn't be like opposed to it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this with me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.